The Martial Arts Scholar presents the Modern Karate Master Series. Gichin Funakhachi, the founder of Shotokan and the father of modern karate, born November 10, 1868 in Shuri Okinawa, to a family of the lower Pechin class, the same year that Japan and its territories were undergoing a major transformation known as the Meiji Restoration, in which the old Tokugawa shogunate came to an end after a series of political reforms that restored imperial rule to the country. These events and the events that would follow in the intervening decades would deeply change the course of history in the country and its people, including young Gichin Funakhachi. He recalls in his own works, the traumatic events that shaped his life and the lives of those around him, and in more than one way set him on his path through life and thus changed the course of martial arts and in particular karate. The Meiji Restoration, among other things was a period of reform that did away with the old isolationist traditions of the Tokugawa shogunate that had lasted for more than 260 years, from 1603 to 1868, a hereditary dictatorship that afforded Japan with political stability and economic development, but also isolated the country and left it frozen in a perpetual feudal era. Upon the re-establishment of imperial rule in 1868, the country started to undergo a period of modernization and westernization, doing away with many of the old traditions. Many of those traditions were of course deeply rooted in the Okinawan society, and there was a lot of resistance to the coming changes. Born prematurely and prone to sickness he was overprotected by his family. In his autobiography, Funakhachi recalled how was this period in his early years, and how at a young age he had gone to live with his grandparents from his mother's side. His grandfather taught him the Chinese classics of the Confucian tradition, and he went to primary school with children from like-minded families who were resisting the ongoing reforms and westernization. At school he met the son of Yasatsu Nazato, himself a traditionalist and of an upper-class family who also was in Funakhachi's words, one of the greatest karate masters of Okinawa at the time. He eventually became a disciple of Master Azato. As Japan and Okinawa continued transforming into a modern and more nationalistic state, the government wanted to leave behind the old traditions, in particular the ones that had any semblance of Chinese influence. Because of this, karate teaching was banned by the authorities and Funakhachi had to take his lessons in secret and at night in Master Azato's backyard. It's worth pointing out that during this time in karate history karate and its precursors were known as Chinese hand and not empty hand as is now known. Gichin Funakhachi described training with Master Azato as a constant repetition of single kata that was grueling, often exasperating and, on occasion, humiliating. Training with Master Azato he met and eventually also started training with Anko Atosu, himself also a member of the upper class and a traditionalist. Itosu was also very well known for his karate skill and his unparalleled strength. Master Azato and Master Itosu were in turn students of old master Bushi Matsumura, himself a renowned karate expert, who was a bodyguard and tutor to the king of Okinawa earlier in his life. Gichin Funakhachi also trained with Matsumura and other masters during his life, but he credits both Azato and Itosu as the men that set him off on his path to karate becoming his way of life. As Japan continued its path to modernization, it became more comfortable with itself and by 1901 the ban on teaching karate is lifted. In 1908, largely due to the efforts of Anko Itosu and his outline of his 10 precepts of karate, the Ministry of Education in Japan approves for karate to be taught in the school system in Okinawa to children. Karate is then cleaned up as some of the more violent hidden techniques in the kata are given a different connotation to make them suitable to be taught to children. By this time Funakhachi had continued to study karate while getting his degree as a school teacher. As karate became more mainstream in Okinawan society, Funakhachi is invited to Japan, along with other Okinawan masters, to give karate demonstrations in 1916 and 1921. During this time he established relationships with other martial artists most notably Kano Jigoro, the founder of Judo. In mainland Japan he helps set up karate clubs and starts teaching seminars at universities. He eventually moves to Tokyo, where he teaches at the Misijuku, a dormitory for Okinawans. And in 1935 the first karate dojo is established in Japan and his students name it the Shotokan, or Hall of Shoto. Shoto being Funakhachi's pen name for his Chinese-style poetry. Gichin Funakhachi went on to write several books on karate including, Karate Do, My Way of Life, 
and the 20 guiding principles of karate. During his long life he taught hundreds of students, many of whom became legendary masters in their own right, and some of them went on to develop other martial arts and styles of karate. Master Gichin Funakhachi died in Tokyo on the 26th of April, 1957 at the age of 88. While Gichin Funakhachi is not the only master that helped pave the way for karate to become what it is now, he certainly played a key part in its development and diffusion outside of Okinawa and eventually the world.